electric air dusters. They're useful, convenient, and rechargeable. So why aren't there DIY builds of this? I found DIY builds for everything you can imagine, creating robots, a vice grip, even a CNC machine, but not for an electric duster. Well, that's going to change today. Kinda. Here's a DIY electric duster on a budget. Also kinda. The first challenge with this project was getting started. Where do you begin? Well, obviously, we should begin with the fan design. Too bad, I started by choosing a motor for budgeting purposes. I picked up this relatively cheap motor and this cheap ESC to go along with it. Got the most cost-effective 3S battery I could find in Amazon, and we were off to the races. By using a 3S LiPo battery, I was ensuring that the performance of the air duster would not be limited by the battery, as many commercial ones are. Most electric air dusters you can buy come with a 2 or 3S battery, but they're not LiPo or lithium polymer. Instead, they're usually lithium ion. The reason lithium ion is used is due to the fact that they're typically rated for much less amperage than a lithium polymer battery, meaning you can use cheaper parts in the design. To compare, the electric dusters you can buy only do a couple hundred watts of power at most. This one can do around 1000 watts. I then started with this simple fan design. It spins and pushes air with the fins, nothing to it. But I later found a much better design on Thingiverse. It's great, it means the motor can be in line with the fan rather than on the side, and you can better control the flow of air, and you'll just have a nicer and more streamlined designing process for the case. Just one problem. The issue is, this fan exerts a lot of force opposite to how it's mounted on the motor. The mount connects via friction with two screws. Oops. A brushless DC motor would have worked a lot better because they usually let you mount things properly to the shaft with a screw. But, seeing how I was trying to stay inside a budget of a reasonably priced air duster, I had already bought a brushed motor instead. So, we stuck with the original fan design. I added some holes to be able to tighten the mount on the motor shaft after everything had been put together. I then created a design for the case and everything on Blender. So, not the prettiest thing in the world, but let's give it a go. Hope I didn't short out this battery to death. Looks like it's still working. It prints in two pieces and bolts together. Now, this is the part that I pretty much always hate, programming the ESC. I obviously am not going to use a remote control or anything crazy like that. I just want this to be button operated. So, to do that, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi Pico. These microcontrollers are the most useful thing in the world. I've used them everywhere. For this, the Pico is going to send out signals to the ESC according to the button presses. Every button press cycles through three speeds and turning off. If you're on the slowest setting, you probably don't want to cycle to the fastest just to turn it off, so holding the button down for about a second turns it off too. But how well does it blow away dust? Pretty well, actually. It doesn't pack the same punch as compressed air, but the difference isn't by too much. The difference also comes from the size of the opening, which is much smaller in a compressed air can. To that end, I created an adapter. Spoiler, it didn't work. I don't have the air physics knowledge to know why, but my best guess is that at some point, the air pressure it tries to push through makes it leak out air from small gaps in the enclosure. But it pushes out a good amount of air, with the top speed I programmed being a bit overkill. It can technically go much faster, but it didn't seem safe. I don't trust the ESC, battery, or the motor to survive a full power turn on. Now, I really don't want it to stop here. This duster works, but it has several issues. First, it has all this junk hanging out the side, not ideal. It's loud, very loud. A common problem with anything that moves a fan around, but would definitely benefit from a brushless motor and a better fan design. There's so much room for improvement for an electric air duster 2.0, but that's not all. I have plenty of other engineering projects like a fully working double helical gearbox that is extremely efficient and powerful just waiting to be tested. So, if you want to see these projects, you can help me do it. Just remember to hit that dislike button, unsubscribe if you haven't done so already, and leave a comment on someone else's video. I'll see you next time.